Alright, so about 10 minutes ago, I found a video from a YouTuber called Quite. Uh, in this video, it's, it was a couple months old. I don't remember how many months. I, I, I want to say six, but it was probably older than that. But that YouTuber did a video ranking the Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics by how hot they were. <laughs> And today I'm going to be doing basically the exact same thing, however hot is not exactly the term I want to use. Now, if I'm going to be fully honest, I kind of stopped paying attention to Five Nights at Freddy's a little bit. Uh, right, literally right after Security Breach first released, and I saw the absolute disaster that game was, that was kind of like the second to last straw for me, because I was already kind of losing interest in the games a little bit before that, because some of the later games, um, especially Pizzeria Simulator and stuff like that, kind of stopped feeling quite like FNAF. But I still paid a little bit of attention to it, it was alright. I don't know anything about any of the DLCs that came out for like, the VR version and stuff like that, but and then eventually the Fun at the Freddy's movie released, and I kind of briefly mentioned how much I just did not like that movie in my Five Nights at Freddy's Roblox video. Um, but yeah, that was kind of like the final straw that I was like, yeah, official Final Fantasy Freddy stuff just sucks. I'm no longer really going to pay much attention to it. So there are definitely some later characters in here that I likely just will not know. Like, I think past, like, this point, some of the characters I start, like, not knowing, like, what the f what, what the fuck is this thing? And what what are these? What is that? And what are you? Yeah, so ranking the animatronics based on how attracted I am to them. Here we go. <laughs> Anyways, starting off with the ma the main character themselves, Freddy. <laughs> Freddy's alright. They're definitely up there in some of my personal favorite characters. Some of the fan fictions they were featured in are pretty pretty good. They're definitely not my favorite character, but they're definitely up there. They, I, they get a, a solid S. Now Bonnie, Bonnie, if you were to like know who I am and like be friends with me in real life, there is a lot of evidence you'd notice uh, on my phone, on my computer, uh, even on my desk my computer's at that points to there being a possibility that my relationship with Bonnie is very much like Quite's relationship with Springtrap. The amount of Five Nights at Freddy's Bonnie X Reader fanfics I have read over the years, over the last four years, around 2020 is when I started getting into that shit and becoming an absolute fucking degenerate. But yeah, ease easily, easily just my absolute number one favorite. Uh, it's all downhill from here in terms of characters. Alright, Golden Freddy. Uh, I'm gonna be fully honest, Golden Freddy is kind of like right next to Freddy with how much I like the character. They often end up being a little bit more of a villainous character in the uh, fan fictions I've read, but usually by the midpoint of the story they come around and some other like greater evil is the thing. These rankings are gonna be so fucking weird. I'm just gonna be talking about what I've read in fanfics the entire video. All right, now we've got Bonnie's femboy younger brother. As much as I do like a good femboy, this bitch I don't really like that much, <laughs> and I don't even know why. I don't know. Their design is all right. We'll put them. We'll we'll put them like. Uh 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 yeah. yeah C. I gotta start going through these a bit quicker, so I feel like ones I don't have much of an opinion on, I won't talk about too much and I'll just kind of place them. I think F tier is gonna just kind of be like the no opinion tier for the most part. Uh, the puppet, I don't know, very freaky looking character. Somehow the skinniness is actually kind of off-putting, though I think it's because it reminds me of myself because I'm horribly skinny. But as an actual character, they're generally better than most of these other characters, so I'll put them like, we'll put them top of B. Uh, Withered Freddy, Withered Freddy alright for the most part. Has a nice personality. Um, I don't appreciate that they killed me in the one fanfic I read, but I, I can I can look past that. If I'm gonna be fully honest, all of the withered animatronics just make me feel kind of sad, uh, but each one for kind of different reasons. I mean, I think overall, like, there is, like, obviously an overlaying reason of, all oh, they're broken now, that's so sad, um, but there's also, like, secondary individual reasons, um, and for Withered Freddy, I actually don't know what that reason would be. I'm gonna put them, like, here. Alright, Withered Bonnie. There's actually a specific, like, image 
Or I shouldn't say image, but it's like, this is this is probably going to be the few, what, rare time I actually go based on what you see in the games. But there's a specific image in Final Freddy's 2 when they like show up in your office and they're standing in front of you. Something about the way they look in that image, and I think I actually have this as the thumbnail for one of my Final Freddy's 2 videos that I was doing a while ago. He looks so goddamn huggable, and I don't... I. I will never understand why. In the uh, fanfic I mentioned earlier when went ranking Withered Freddy that Withered Freddy killed me and uh, when the reader re-woke up as like an animatronic character in that, Withered Bonnie had this super like sweet protective personality that I like just could not get over for like a month. Yeah, easy, easy S. Not as good as the original Bonnie, but like, actually they're like just bare, they're probably like almost tied if I'm gonna be fully honest. They're both awesome, they're both amazing. Yeah, try not to get angry at me for being ultra weird in the comments. Uh, it's, it's actually COVID's fault. COVID gave me way too much time to just be on the internet, and it's probably the reason for about 90% of my degeneracy. Anyways, Wither Chica, probably the character that scared me the most the first time I ever played the Finds of Freddy's 2 game. I guess I shouldn't have said I wouldn't be referencing the game at all, because here I am referencing the game twice now. But I think that definitely had a lasting effect. There's a chance I just won't even post this. And if I do post it, I hope it goes absolutely nowhere. Anyways, uh, B tier, by the way. <laughs> if I do post this, I really hope this goes absolutely nowhere. If this ends up like my furry IRL videos, and I get like a thousand fucking views on this i will be i'll, I'll be pretty upset <laughs> honestly should i actually just get all the ones i'm gonna have no opinion on out of here real quick i'm gonna just, i'm gonna just go through all of these and get the ones i have no opinion on out of the way really quick before we move on too much yeah these are all the characters i have no opinion on um either because i don't know who the hell they are or because i can't have an opinion on them oh wait hold on um all right, anyways, m moving- oh wait, hold on. There we go. All right, moving on. The Withered Foxy. Um, is it weird that I like Withered Foxy a lot more than Original Foxy? I really- I, I actually really like Withered Foxy. Um, he's frequently depicted as very clumsy. <laughs> and I feel like I reference fanfics a lot, but I've also seen a lot of, like, art of these characters. Like, I need to reference that kind of stuff more. Because, like, there's definitely been a lot of art of Bonnie I liked, and I promise none of it's been NSFW. I'm not that fucking weird. Like, if I were to have a relationship with any of these characters, it would be a fully asexual relationship. So, <laughs> I'd, I feel like I should clear that up real quick. Alright, Shadow Freddy. Actually, I actually am going to place these two at the exact same time, because if I'm going to be fully honest, there's only one fanfic that I've read that I'm going to be basing this placement off of, where these two characters are, like, fighting over the main reader. And if I'm going to be fully honest, I like both of them equally. I very much like both of them pretty equally. I'm going to say they're, like, middle A tier. Alright, Springtrap. Uh, this placement's about to make quite very upset, but I'm not very interested in Springtrap. I don't- I don't really wanna- I wouldn't really wanna date a murderer. I'm- I'm gonna put them, like, high C tier, though. Actually, no, no. We'll put them here. As much as I don't like Toy Bonnie that much, I don't I don't dislike them more than Springtrap, so. Ooh, now we're on the, the Fine of the Freddy's 4 characters, aka the, um, characters that are frequently depicted as, like, the daddy and mommy variations of all the original four in all the furry art. Um, I feel like I haven't seen much good art of Nightmare Freddy, though. Kind of an underrated character, in my opinion. Kind of very underrated in that regard. They're definitely up there with the original Freddy, I think. But I don't know if I like them more than Golden Freddy is the issue. I think I do. Nightmare Bonnie? I mean, we already know where this is going. It's another Bonnie variation. And honestly, some of the art I've seen, man, again, I'd, I'd try my best to avoid NSFW Fine It's at Freddy's art. Honestly, any character that comes from a game series or a movie series, I generally try to avoid NSFW art of that character because it's just, there's still a little bit of non-degeneracy in me that's like, that's way too fucking cursed for me. But at the same time, I can also really enjoy a good SFW picture of a very, very buff Nightmare Bonnie. So, <laughs> maybe that just completely ruins it. And as much as I don't really care for characters that are drawn as like these ultra buff characters, then it's, it's Bonnie. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Now, Nightmare Fredbear. Man, this is about to reveal some crazy shit about me. There was a fanfic I read about them that kind of, like, 
brought this character a little bit more to my attention, if I'm going to be fully honest, and part of me has actually kind of liked this character a lot more since then. Uh, there was a particular Five Nights at Freddy's 4 fanfic where the reader was protected by Nightmare Fred Bear through the use of Safe 4, and I've been weirdly obsessed with that idea ever since. <laughs> Man, if this character existed in the way that it did uh, in that fanfic, sleeping at night would be so much easier. Honestly, if most of the characters I have, like an A and up, existed in real night in real life and were with me, uh, sleeping would be a lot easier. But this one in particular, just that idea has just really stuck out to me, and I don't know why. I don't know why. Anyways, I've talked about Vor for long enough. Easy S tier. All right, plush trap. I so badly wish there was like, and there probably is someone who does this, but. I'm gonna pretend that it doesn't exist for the time being just so I can complain about this. I so badly wish someone could like make me a plush trap plushie at like the size and the way that it exists in Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Ignoring the part where it's a it's a murderous uh, midget, I so badly want one of those. <laughs> It's another one of those characters where even when I was playing the games and stuff like that, and even in the context of the game, it's like, damn, I just want to hug this thing <laughs> for some reason. So, e easy S tier. Uh, we'll put them, trying to decide whether I like them more than Golden Freddy or not. I think Golden Freddy has a little bit of the edge, but we'll, we'll, it's fine. All right, Scott Cawthon, the man himself. Uh, I feel like this is just like obvious SS tier, and not based on like what I've been ranking all the animatronics on. This this is just the guy who created my childhood, so <laughs> obviously has to be SS. Lulbit, I do like Lulbit. Unfortunately, I have come across a couple NSFW picks. Lulbit is like, for some reason, based on what I've seen, is like the second most NSFW character. <laughs> From what I've personally seen, and I don't even really know why, there's just an image that shows up on the screen occasionally, but I do like the design. It's like a slightly better Funtime Foxy, I don't know, I just like the orange and purple color scheme a little bit more. I just realized, where's the blue Bonnie Hand Puppet? We only have the pink one here. Alright, now we come to the uh, Twisted characters from the books. Surprisingly enough, I actually have found fanfics of the Twisted ones. Twisted Freddy is alright. I, I do like Twisted Freddy a little bit. Um, I do like them. I don't know that I really would put them in A, though. I think we'll put them, like, here. We'll put them top of B. Twisted Bonnie. <laughs> this is another one that, like, this is the second Five Nights at Freddy's character that I found a really good safe for fanfic on. I don't remember what it was called, and it made me very sad that I couldn't remember what it was called and could never find it again. I do remember really liking it. And if I'm going to be fully honest, I think I like Twisted Bonnie more than Nightmare Bonnie. I don't even really know why, just something about it. Now Lefty, however, there was a fanfic I read that was completely centered around them. And I really, really like the way this character was portrayed. Uh, they're definitely an S. Easy S tier. I might actually... Nah, we'll put them like right here. We're done! We've ranked them all! Or ranked all the ones I have an opinion on based on weird shit about me. Uh, there... Oh, I can't get the whole thing in. God damn it. Yeah, there is, there is my tier list. Uh, for ranking the animatronics uh, based on attraction. Was- is this probably the weirdest fucking video I've ever made? Absolutely yes. Has this video exposed a fuck ton of shit about me? Yes it has. Um, is this video probably gonna get a lot of hate? Absolutely yes it will. But, that just means more content. Next video will be a reading your hate comments video. <laughs> Part of me is so happy I'm doing a video like this, and part of me is like, oh, this is gonna be the thing that gets me removed from YouTube. I haven't even made it far, and I'm gonna, like, get kicked off the platform already. Here we go. You ready for the shit? 